Hello and welcome to the Amateur Football YouTube channel. Tabriz here, your host. So this video, I'm going to be doing a match review. Yes, it's a little bit late. Hollington versus Charcoal in the Beckenham Cup final. Hollington, current Division 3 champions in Division 2. Charcoal, current Division 1 champions. Also, Beckenham Cup champions. Uh, is it Surrey Cup? Apologies. And London Cup. So, hey, like they've kind of cleaned up. So this is just my own review. Please like, share. And enjoy. So I just want to say from the get-go, I love the production. Um, whoever's done this production, well done. Hopefully we're going to be seeing a lot more of this when Hollington actually play games throughout the season. That's what happened this first finish of my Arsenal. Go on, he's Naming a team any week is hard. In a final, it's harder. People's families are here. You put in your graph all year round. Everyone's worked hard. It's not been easy. Ten players starting with an outfit with a keeper, seven subs. Like the semi-final, every single sub played a part. So in my head today, how hard I want everyone to work, everyone's gonna play a part. Everyone. People got as a manager in the cup final, I can imagine Billy's probably been thinking about this for the past few days and I'm not going to say that this speech was rehearsed, but of course he's kind of going over in terms of how to motivate his troops, how to even motivate the people on the bench, because of course those people are going to be very, very disappointed. It's all about motivation. It's all about focus. And I think Billy does a really good job in portraying that. I'll be honest, yeah? Honestly today, don't think selfishly because there's a lot of fans here or whatnot. If you're blowing, come off. That goes for everyone. Because every sub I trust, every sub could start. That's as simple as that, seriously. The team I'm going to go with today, it's 3-5-2, yeah? But in my head, it's 4-5-1, it's 5-4-1. Ryan in goal, thank you for today, Ryan. Special for that, yeah? <laughs> it's gonna be left side, back three, Tom Smith. It's gonna be Craig Brown and Wesley Kane on the right side of the back three, yeah? Morris and Jimmy in the two midfield, they don't go beyond the ball. Micah start left wing back. What I know is that Millie doesn't play as a full back or a wing back. He may have played there when he was young, but what I know of Millie and what people have said is that he's a goal scorer and he's a, and he's he's a goal provider. So already, in my mind, you know they're thinking of Charcoal's strengths rather than thinking of what they can do to hurt them. Chris McNellis start right wing back and Barry Foley up front. Yeah, Darren Floyd and Chrissy Hubbard either side of Morris and James. That's the team today we're starting with. And then we've got obviously seven subs. Scotty, Tipper, Russell, Burlo, Naz, and who's hiding? And Alfie, yeah? Seven subs, all can play. Let's go. If you don't believe in yourself, listen, we ain't going to gain nothing out of it. So nothing but 100%, like you said, hard work and believe in your belief. If you've got time on the ball, take that time on the ball. You haven't got a rush. Find a pass. Big shout out to Chrissy. He's been on the show uh, a couple of times. And this was, I believe this is the first time I've seen him play. Uh, but no, big shout to uh, Chrissy. Now he's at LSU. Uh, but he was a key, key player for Hollington when he was there. Let me talk about his performance later in this game. Do things with quality, yeah? Listen, you're all going to have... Pay, people are going to be on us at all times. That's football. But it's how you deal with that. And I think I've got to say, sometimes our decision-making can be a bit better. But that's because we panic on the ball. Listen, it's a big, it's a big, big pitch. There's someone's bound to have space. Utilise them, use the space, and also, can you communicate with your teammates? Yep. Massively, boys. It's, it sounds silly. Communication is massive. If you can't talk to your teammates, then we're going to struggle. Yeah. Just spoke to the um, ref, ref. He's not. He's got no tolerance. He's just warned me. He's got no tolerance level whatsoever. Okay, Tommy, especially, I'm going to come to you. Get off his. Get off his case. He's just basically said he's not tolerating anything. That's very true. <laughs> he's a character, but he doesn't tolerate anything. And you'll see in this game, he's actually refereed one of our games. 
and he there's like no tolerance level. It's it's zero to a hundred straight off. And uh, you like seeing this game um, some like decisions, some some strange decisions. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just highlight a few things. As soon as we go up to him, it's getting to his face. It's giving you straight a yellow card. Boys, in cup finals, there's no reruns. I don't want you to leave nothing out there at all. You give everything you've got on that pitch. Uh, for me, this game is about heart, desire, and just going out there and trying your best. Let's play the game, yeah? Don't worry about the emotion of the cup and all the rest of it. Let's just stick together. It's important that we stick together today. Just going what Billy said, we stay in the game. Get ourselves in the game. Let's get focused. Let's get ready. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> Billy looked like he's gonna um, blow a fuse. I think it's it's that kind of um, unwritten rule of um, intimidation. So sometimes uh, when you're kind of going into an emotional game like this, shouting and hollering is a way to kind of get yourself up. But of course, there's like some players that like the kind of quietness and and to be focused but the, you know there's some people that like to kind of be in your face it kind of be in your face and like really go at it so um no no hey like um billy's kind of got his way of um of putting across that energy and you can see a lot of the guys responded to that Was it a yellow? I, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was just mistimed. But again, this referee, zero to 100. So you would now think because he's given out an early yellow, things will calm down. Great defending there. You know what? That's what I call that like, soldier defending because you don't know who's, who's behind you. You know you're going to get either... Um, a hit from the keeper of a uh, opposing player. So that is really brave defending. Be strong now, be strong now. Second marker. Go on, son. Yes. What? No way, ref. Hold on. So did someone just get a yell? Hmm. I didn't actually see this because I was actually in the crowd here. I didn't actually see that. I don't know why anyone got a yellow card there. He just tried to slow down the play. The charcoal player knew exactly what he was doing. I'm not too sure who got the yellow and why. Good! Come on! <laughs> That's great defending. That's what I'm saying. I don't know who that person on the ground is. I don't know what number that is. Is that 2023? 20, That's great defending. Again, putting his body in the line. That's as good as a goal for me. Quality defending right there. He can come in sometime. They're in the other, yeah? That's it, Mike. That's it, Mike. Another yellow. That's mud. That, you know what? I was at this, you know, I can't remember. That's a mad, mad yellow card. I don't think that's a yellow card. That's just, that's just two men trying to assert their dominance. That's not a yellow card. I, I, I don't know if he said something or something happened afterwards, but that's not a yellow card for me. Oh, um, I just want to say regarding the crowd and the support, there was a lot more Hollington fans than Charcoal fans. I'll
definitely given that a hundred percent. They had a lot more. I saw um, a lot more family members actually wearing Hollington polo shirts, hats, scarves. So they were actually out in force, definitely. You've seen how that little incident just happened right there. The 23 from Charcoal, I think it's Danny Steele. You're a very lucky man. You went in for a headbutt and and you hit his shoulder. But number 23, who got booked in the first couple of minutes, you're very lucky to still be on the pitch. I'm going to tell you that now. And again, this is where the consistency comes in. The referee told everyone exactly how he was going to referee this game. Early yellows, cool, but you've got to follow through. And if someone's already got a yellow and they come in like that, maybe you didn't see the, the number, he should have gone. Charcoal, very, very lucky. Hollington, very unlucky. But hey, we move on, I guess. Ooh. They're not listening, that boy. Every time we do what we they want to do naturally, boy, it's going against us. No chance, no chance, no chance. Listen, Chrissy, Chrissy is a quality player, um, but there was no chance. He's quick, but the moment he slowed it down, uh, the charcoal player knew exactly where he was going. And that was great defending. That's great positioning, again, by the charcoal fullback, right back. There was, yeah, no entry. No entry, man. No entry. <laughs> So, um, uh, goalkeeping error, hundred percent. Wasn't really a shot that should have troubled the keeper at all. Now it's all about how the keeper recovers from this, the next save, the next catch, whatever it is. How is he going to recover from this? Keeper error, hundred percent. And nothing the Hollington defence could do. Well, no charcoal. Done all of you know what he's done everything. He's gone around the keeper, didn't really fancy it on his right. I'm guessing that is that is left footed. And once he's turned back in, he's realized there's a lot of people, there's two players on the line, and yeah, like the pressure just just sort of got to him. Fair play to the Hollington back four, though. Um, sprinting back, getting like back into position. The keeper did uh as much as he possibly could. Um, but again, that's Actually, decent defending right there. Didn't really give up on the ball. However, the charcoal player should have scored. Definitely. Boy, well done. Right. Listen, on a serious, serious note, yeah? Stay in the game. We're changing the formation, yeah? We're going 4 3 3. We don't need three at the back. Micah go left, uh, right back. Burlo left back. I'll change it if we need to. Craig and Tommy. Where's the midfield with Jimmy? And Darren Flott is in the hole, yeah? Behind Morris, up front, yeah? Barry Folan from the left, and the other players Hubbard from the right, yeah? We get whipped in the game. So when they've got the ball, we're chasing, chasing, chasing. Barry, to be fair to you, I don't know where you are, Bal. You've been working your socks off, yeah? But you're running, for, like, you're just running. Someone needs to call him back. 
Yeah? All we're going to do is let the centre backs have the ball. Let them have it. Because their out balls are the left back and the right back. So, Chrissy, is it Chrissy and Barry? Yeah. yeah. Chrissy and Barry, just stand on them. Just mark the fullbacks from now. Morris is going to drop in deeper on a deep midfielder. And Dow Dow is going to be in there as well. So we're basically saying, come inside. <coughs> come down here. Yeah, come down the middle. We yeah, we're going to show them in the middle. <coughs> Christian Barry, you're going to say, come inside. If it's going to go over to the winger, to Finney or, I don't know who's on the other side. Shane. It's got to go over. Shane. It's got to go over the heads. Yeah, yeah, yes? Yeah. So as it goes over the head, Micah and Berlo now, yeah. as the ball's in the air, you've got time to get across. Yeah. So we can stay narrow. Stay narrow. Yeah. Yeah, but if, as long as we're saying come down the middle, yeah, come down the middle, Christian Barry, yours is important. Yeah. As soon as that keeper gets the ball, as soon as that defender, tight, you get white. He brought that down really, really well. And there's a strategy there. And it's a way of playing. And if the players execute that plan, then they've got a chance. Sometimes you need people on the sideline that will strategically look how the opposition are playing and amend other people's positioning to get the best out of them, but also expose the opponent's weakness. So how he's broke it down there, very simple, nothing complicated. All the players in the changing room that he's talking to know exactly what he's talking about. Um, and, you know, that's kind of what you need also in a team. Like you need someone to, to just simplify everything. You get white, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you're showing them inside. Everything's coming inside. Boys, you're still in this, man. Trust me. You're still in this. As much as you want to play, 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 they're a very good team in transition. Very good team. Like Liverpool. They're better when we've got the ball. So if we're going to make mistakes in there, be prepared, it's dangerous. So if it's not on and you're not all on the same page, it goes forward. We've got three to hit. So be brave, but also know there's an out ball, yeah? That was a foul. It was a foul. Touched him the first time, got him, got him off balance. To be fair to the charcoal player, I think it was Finney. Tried to stay on his feet, but yeah, that was a foul. Come on. That's a foul. Yeah, and you know what? again, if that's a yellow card, then what happened in the first half then? Man? That's the only thing I have to say. If that's a yellow card, what happened with the melee in the first half? <laughs> Jim, tell about Jim, tell about Jim, tell about Jim. How everyone feels on the on the field and on the bench. That's how I feel right now. Two errors from the goalkeeper, two goals. And you would expect a keeper to you would expect a keeper of his quality to gobble those up that's those two goals or that goal again shouldn't have gone in and as a player as a defender that can just deflate you you're in the game at 
and you are slowly finding your feet and that happens it can just it yeah i mean it just it kills you man it kills you yeah you see everyone's face oh, i don't know what to say actually i've got nothing really to say the keeper knows I mean, at this time, I think it's more of a head loss now more than anything else now. It's just about protecting the keeper as much as possible. In a cup final and at this level, those errors cannot be happening. You know, um, Millie made an amazing challenge um, right before this this next phase of play. Um, and I think if it was 3 0, well, yeah, if it was 3 0, then uh, the game would have been done. But that's a uh, great uh, defending. Didn't really give up on the ball, uh, won it, and played a simple ball. Well done. At this present moment, I think, I believe, if I was a manager, no, you know, yeah, I mean, like the keeper's lost his head now. He's come out with his feet rather than his hands. So that just, I don't know, I don't know, he's just lost his head now. Um, penalty, yellow card, and um, yeah, it looks like Charcoal are going to run away with this now. And that's uh, Mr. Patterson, um, formerly of Charcoal. Good penalty. Keeper had no chance. And it looks like the game's done now. It's just a matter of time. 70-odd um, minutes gone, 3-0. Three, uh, three mistakes, I would say, defensive mistakes. Two from the keeper. Um, the other one, well, yeah. The player did manage to get past keeper came out with his feet rather than his hands if we know uh game done That's a that's a great strike. Um, pure power. Uh, the pace of the ball beat the keeper. Can can you can you look at the keeper's positioning? Uh, possibly, um, but um, yeah, like the pure pace of the ball. You know, um, not a lot of keepers would have stopped that. Four nil. Um, it's just about keeping a clean sheet now for Charcoal and for Hollington. It's about getting off the pitch. As soon as possible now. Um, 4 0 in the cup final. It's uh, it's a place where you just don't want to be, to be honest. Okay, this goal, I mean, a great, great play again from um, Bachaco Vets. And to be fair to Vinny and to be fair to the to the Chaco player who scored, it was a blatant penalty, a blatant penalty. And the, and the goalkeeper would have been sent off as well. 
Again, the keeper's come out with his legs. I don't know. Again, please correct me if I'm wrong. Any goalkeeper coaches out there don't know if that's the right um, way to, to like come out and literally try and um, tackle someone. But again, this is very easy for um, the charcoal now. Five uh, worthy winners, worthy champions, and Hollington really probably just want to go home now. Great challenge. You know, everyone was willing the ball to go in. You could you could hear the crowd. There was a chance before, I think, you know, just didn't have the legs just to run onto it. But you could hear the crowd still willing Hollington to, to at least get in a... But you could hear the crowd willing Hollington to get onto the score sheet. And, uh, yeah, listen, I mean, um, it's a day out. I think Hollington can actually take this as more of a day out and she more of an experience. But again, Charcoal deserved this uh, win 100%. You can see the crowd. Boys, listen, let's just summarise that game in the season. It takes a lot of bottle to not play all season and come in and do us a favour. So round of applause for Ryan today, boys, yeah? Okay. Um, so again, fair play to to the gaffer and fair play to Ryan as well, coming out. Um, hasn't, well, yeah, hasn't played a lot of games. And to go in goal as well, it's, it's a big thing. However, the goals, three, three of the goals, at least three of the goals, possibly even four, but let's say three, um, could have been avoided. So I've played in goal before and I've made some decent saves and I've made some howlers. And what it is with a goalkeeper, if you make a great save, you're on top of the world. If you make a howler, either you can see the goal or, or the opposition think that you're the weakest player. Okay, that's one of those things. When the ball is in the opposition half and you've got time to think, that's the worst time because you've got to be, you've got to be mentally strong to get whatever phase of play it was out of your mind. And if you made a howler and they've scored from it, you want to try and redeem yourself and you do things that you wouldn't necessarily do. And I think with a goalkeeper, I think Ryan probably did things that he wouldn't normally have done. In normal circumstances, Ryan would have made those saves. But again, fair play to the keeper for coming out and standing tall and, you know, saying, look, hey, I'm here to be shot at. I tried my, my hardest in this particular game. It didn't go my way, but I'll be back whenever uh, Holl Hollington want me or another club. So again, fair play to Ryan. The game plan is not nice, it's frustrating, but against a decent, or not decent, against a very good team like them, with the what we got at our disposal, it's our best tool. Was to graft, work hard, close down the spaces. At any level of football, two goals, five subs, it's hard. Summarising the whole season, the crowd out there for us is unreal. Yes. Even when Tipper was running forward, like, that's all your friends and family coming to pay to watch you lot play football. At your age, it must be unbelievable. Like, seriously, yeah? I was still thinking the first half and the second half and the first 15 minutes, we still lacked a bit that, that quality in that final third, yeah? We, we, got, we, we score goals and we create chances, we do. At me, all lovely goals and Saturday, lovely goals. But in that final third, because we're tired, because we're tired, because of the fitness, because you've got a shift, you've got to put a work in. Yeah, Mike going down with cramp, Tommy going down with cramp. Micah, by the way, unbelievable. Yeah. On a serious note, unbelievable. For me, man of the match on the, both teams. Yeah, definitely, 100%. Um, Millie, I think that, you know, yeah, Millie for me, easily man of the match. I remember watching that game and he should have been on the losing team. Absolutely amazing player. Work, works hard, he's got the quality, but also as well, like he loves football as well. And he's been on the show 
uh, a few times. A pillar in the Masters community, so big shout out to that mini. Definitely man on a match in this game. But, but listen, boys, it's been a very good season. Whether we go on next year, we'll have a big old chat, we'll have a couple of months off, come back in July, have a meeting, <coughs> and see if people committed again. It's been an unbelievable season, won the league, and the and runners up of this cup. For the first season, boys, I think it deserved a round of applause. <laughs> like, seriously, seriously, like, on a, in, it, that's my personal opinion. Each and every one of you are gladiators. You gave your all. Unfortunately, we lost. There's got to be one winner, there's got to be one loser. We've won things and we've lost things, but today we lost. But again, hold your head up high, each and every one of you. I'll be proud of what you achieved. And also, thank you for welcoming me to the family. Again, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe. And if there's any other videos that you want me to review, please pull it in uh, the amateur footballer DMs. And we'll see you guys soon.